Here are five drivers that are on the hot seat heading into the 2024 NASCAR Cup Series season. You heard what I said? Cup Series, because that's what we're focusing on today. And we're going to start off from fifth place and go up to first place. Fifth being the coldest out the bunch, but it's still pretty warm, if you know what I'm saying. And we're going to start off at five, and it's going to be the 41 car of Ryan Paris. Just like every single year in the NASCAR season, it always seems to be that the 41 and the 10 cars are always on the verge of having a new driver for the following season. And we've seen it in the past with uh, Kurt Busch, Daniel Suarez, Cole Custer, and now Ryan Priest. Year two has to be big before he gets to boot. And number four spot is going to be Harrison Burton. And I believe Burton got a little better last year. Not a lot of people are going to admit it. I believe he got a lot better last year. And I believe he's going to have a good year this year. Playoffs are a little far reach, but some good races this year, I believe, can help maintain his seat in 2025. The third spot is going to be Austin Dillon just because of the talent RCR has in the Xfinity side of things and they're not willing to invest into another charter in the Cup Series. So that means you're going to have to open that three car up. Kyle Busch is definitely not going nowhere. He's revamped that organization and uh, Austin Dillon can go into a management role or do something like that because right now driving is not cutting it and uh, he has to have a good year before old Papa, they call him, uh, makes a big difficult decision. Number two, Daniel Suarez. Right now, he's sucking it. He missed the playoffs last year. They got Zane Smith in the track house, Spire Motorsports combination car in the 71 for the 20, uh, 24 season, actually. And uh, if Zane Smith has a good year and Suarez doesn't, they can easily flip-flop him because I don't think Justin Marks is going to do Suarez dirty. He knows that Suarez got their team started up back in 2021, and he's going to be loyal to him. And what I mean by that is we've seen when Valtteri Bottas left Mercedes – they wouldn't announce nothing until Toto Wolff secured him a seat for the next season, which was Alfa Romeo. And I believe Justin Martz is going to do the same with Suarez. He's not going to do anything unless he knows that Suarez has a guaranteed seat, in which he will. And uh, he's number two on the list. The hottest seat of them all is going to be the 48 of Alex Bowman. Alex Bowman missed the playoffs last year after a hot start. Uh, he, I think he broke a part of his back, if you're not mistaken, in a... Uh, Another series of racing, and uh, that right there is not cutting it. Have another bad year this year. He's out in that 48 car. There's no ifs and buts.